Beautiful. Bro. Oh, yeah. Gosh, not you again. Not you. Oh, God. Whenever I come in here with my sandals, I get attacked. What's going on, everybody? It's uh, early in the morning. Well, not too early, but it's like 7.30. And uh, I just thought, oh, we do a uh, little early morning tour of the camp. Sun's not even uh, blazing hot yet. Lumpy's still sleeping in his little corner. He's been doing much better, which I'm happy about because um, he's moving around a lot more and that makes me happy. Um, we got some tools out, my bike, my, my tailgate protector for my bikes. Let's go see what these uh, radiators are doing right now. As they're starting to wake up, this is a kind of cool time of the day. These guys, like to come and wake up and start doing their thing, man. It's pretty awesome. So the radiated tortoises live out here, as you guys know, way out here. And uh, we've got a few of them just still sleeping. They're kind of hanging out. <laughs> pretty cool, pretty cool. And what's this over here? Got a Malaysian box turtle, Southeast Asian box turtle right here. And this is actually the drip for the AC unit. It's just water, it's just condensed water, and it flows out over here. And this guy likes to hang out. Pretty cool. All right. Oh yeah, how awesome. All right, let's see what else we got. Oh, speaking of water, the front pond's looking good. <laughs> we even have radiated hanging out over here. They like to hide out. This is this guy's corner. Pretty neat. They all go back to a specific area that they like. So let's see. Hey, about the Oscars. You guys haven't seen these Oscars in a while. Let's get them some food. Let's see if these guys want a little. There you go. I'll put you guys right in the middle of the action, too. I'm also gonna go and see what you guys can find uh, under this log. Let's see what happens. As you can see, things are going well here. We got a big, big poop right there. Um, I gotta get rid of that. I mean, you don't want to knock on my front door and then have a giant turd right there, but at least we know that the radiated tortoises are happy and healthy. Woohoo! Uh, I trimmed down a lot of the grasses, but they're growing back up, which is nice. Got all kinds of really cool bromeliads growing. These are our lady finger palms. All right, let's go on up here and see what we can find. I love walking around in the morning because it's when everything's starting to come alive and um, a lot of little banana plants are starting to grow up. They're the big ones. And of course, those give us the fruit and they also, the leaves are really good for the tortoises to eat. Oh, this is cool. So these Southeast Asian box turtles, the four ambient entrance, they really love to hang out in shallow water. So I'm really excited that they're doing that. Now the thing I'm noticing here though, guys, is this pond looks a little dirty. Hmm, sometimes materials get caught down in here. But wait a second. Oh, wait a second. I think we need, we need to add water. The water didn't go on yesterday. So what's happened is, the water levels dropped and the pump's not, 
catching enough of the water. So see that you can hear it slurping. You can actually hear the pump starting to slurp. So let's uh, let's go back over here and I'll show you what I got to do. Maybe the battery ran out on the uh, timer. But this is what I've got to do every morning. I check and make sure things are going well. And uh, it's very important. This is uh, the routine. Yeah, look at this. This looks like it might be a little messed up. I don't know. Let's see. Well, it seems like it's still working. Let's turn this on. Let it run for a little while. And then it should turn on. Yep. All right, water's going. Boy. So what happens is usually this comes on automatically and starts to fill up the ponds. So we got to make sure that the ponds are getting the water. Here we go. See? The water's coming out here. Can you guys see that? We've got a little tube. And not only that, but over here, we've got Pinky and Slinky, or rather Pinky. And so the water comes out every morning and fills up there. Hey, look, there she is. Let's go see her since we're out here real quick. But wait a second. Oh, look at this. See, again, good reason to come out. This is the Snow Leopard's water fountain, and it looks like this thing broke off. There's a little flag normally. So let's see if we can adjust that. I want to put it right into this little area. Now the plants have grown down into this, which is kind of a pain in the neck, but uh, it's kind of cool. Like the roots have grown down into the actual water, uh, water source. But what happens is the water just overflows and there's also another water source over here which is pretty cool and that overflows as you guys can see and it gives the bamboo plants a little bit of water as well but that's nice clean water let me wipe this off here for you guys all right so where were we we were going to go take a look at this pretty girl let's see what uh pinky's up to but you see how this just comes down and this overflows and keeps the water nice and clear but, you know, I don't like how it's hitting this because it's spraying too much, so I'm going to move it a little bit. Oh, Pinky moves this stuff. There we go. And then it overflows. But let's see what she's doing. There she is. Hey, what's up, kid? There's our little Pinky. And she is a pretty girl, don't you think? Come on over here. She's always looking for some food. No food right now, Angel. Oh, don't be scared. Don't be scared. Oh, I love that lizard, man. Really cool. And so her house is doing well. She's got these nice branches, a nice place to hang out, sunbathe. Of course, I've been talking about the water. There's her box where she goes in every night, and it also keeps her warm during the winter. Let's shut this and see if we can find Marty, the Mertens monitor. Show you guys what he's been up to. His house is looking good too. I don't have any mulch in his house because he likes to burrow down into it. And in the winter, I want to make sure that I keep him. Uh, I want to make sure that I keep him warm. And what he'll do is he used to burrow into the mulch and I wasn't able to, you know, make sure that he's not in there. Make sure to keep him warm. Let's see where this guy is. I'll bet you he's in the water somewhere. There he is. Watch this, everyone. Here we go. cool we're able to find them just hanging out where a water monitor likes to hang very neat all right so he's doing well very very good ah oh, all right what do you say we almost skipped over two of our or three of our favorite animals at the camp let's go see what the tortoises up front are doing of course i'm talking about the galops and our friend nostradamus here's another pretty radiated hi there young lady i love it in the morning but that's the front and uh, i need to take those hurricane shutters off but i'm kind of lazy especially there's a tropical storm umberto hanging out there oh look who it is da -da 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 -da. oh hello 
There she is, Darwin the beauty. How you going there, sweetheart? It's good to see you. Uh, do you want to open your mouth and say hello to everybody, or what? What are you going to do? You just stare into the camera longingly? I understand. Very nice. Uh, so there she is. There's Darwin. We're going to fill up their water here. I uh, took it out yesterday. I got to spray out their leaves and stuff like that, which is basically what I do is either I get my, my leaf blower and pull out all this stuff, or you could do it by hand. I just grab it. This is all the pine straw. It doesn't hurt anybody, but I'm going to want to get in here and do a nice cleaning so that we can get these guys some fresh water. I like to let it dry out because it makes it easier for me to pull everything out like this. And then I just fill it back up and uh, these guys are ready to rock. Now, where is everyone else? Where's, uh, where's your crew? Huh? Where are, where are they? Hmm. Let's go on a little excursion, see if we can find these guys. They do like to hide and it is kind of early. So, up. Oh. I hear something. Let's go. I, I hear something in here. Oh, it's fun to go on a little adventure into the woods. Do you guys see her? Who could it be? My gosh. Where the heck are they? Did I hear a squirrel or did I hear a tortoise? It's amazing how such large tortoises ugh, can hide, but you up, oh, look at this. There they are, both of them. They're both in the woods here. All right, there's Socrates and Nostradamus, and I love seeing them in here. So beautiful, aren't they? I love how big they're getting, and I just love the fact that they have this beautiful palmetto thicket to hide out in. Hi, guys. Oh, they think they're gonna get some food, don't you? Ha! No food yet, angels. Maybe a little bit later I'll feed you, but I like to let them kind of wake up. They got to warm up and they browse on their own. So they come in here and they really do a good job keeping the understory nice and flattened out. And they also keep any weeds from growing up. Hey there, Nostradamus. That's a good boy. Come on over here so I can give you a scratch. That's a boy. I'm going to give you a little scratch. This tortoise. Oh my God, I love this tortoise. It's just an angel. I've had this guy since uh, 2004 and he's just getting bigger and bigger. And uh, my gosh, they are just a fantastic species of tortoise. If you have the space for them, just absolutely love them. All right, there you go. Baby. Look at this guy. He loves getting his neck scratched, his chin scratched. And then what's going on over here? Are you gonna bite my butt, huh? You coming up behind me? Now this tortoise, it's funny. Socrates doesn't really, doesn't like to get scratched too much, only wants a handout. Not really a big, uh, a big affectionate kind of tortoise, but very curious and always wants to be fed. And uh, I'm really happy because, you know, you come out here and you look at the health of the animals, you can see there's a lot of good tone uh, in the top of their heads, that muscle tone right there. You can kind of see it. Do you see how it's lumped up there? That's their muscles. Oh, don't get so mad, buddy. And then they move, they're good. This is all part of husbandry, is checking the animals out and making sure they're doing well. And look, Nostradamus is still in that hangout pose. This is a really fun tortoise. All right, so all three of these guys are looking good. Let's get out of this thicket. Come on this way, everybody. Oh, right through, right through, no problem. Which will lead us on to some other tortoises. Oh, oh speaking of other tortoises, it's the Redfoots. Hey there, Redfoots. Uh, these guys are looking for a handout as well. Everybody hears me when I come out in the morning, and this is also one of those Goldilocks times because if we, as we have learned, tortoises by and large are crepuscular. I've used that word many times before, but that means active at dawn and dusk. So these guys are just kind of waking up and getting ready for the day. They'll be active till about 10 o'clock in the morning, and that's when it gets real hot out here in South Florida. Although soon the weather will be tapering off because we're going into our fall. And uh, that means it won't be into the hundreds or the upper 90s. It'll actually start to stay in the 80s, which is fantastic because uh, these guys will be happy. Um, they'll be active more throughout the day. But look at these tortoises, huh? And they just come pouring out 
of their house. Now, longtime viewers of the channel know this area. It's the Redfoot Tortoise area. This is their bunker. Here's one poking out. You gonna come out and say hello? Um, all right, it's up to you. <laughs> We've got all the bamboo growing nicely. I chop this bamboo down and use it for decoration and for different fence pickets and stuff. So there's a lot being used. And the same thing with the giant bamboo, everybody. Uh, this is one of my favorite plants. This is Dendrocalamus gigantea. And it's a tropical species of bamboo that we're able to grow here. And look at the new culms, okay? These new culms, they start firing out. Look at how big and thick they are, look at this. Oh, this is some really good stuff. And what I can do is harvest some of the older culms and cut them down as I've done here. And that's what I make my fence pickets out of. I just like the look. It's a very Jurassic Parky, jungly vibe. You know what I mean? Very Tarzan-y or whatever. Oh, hey, look who it is. It's Hercules. Hey, Herx, what's up? Hercules is in here. He's still hanging around. He's doing well. That's my boy, Hercules. That's one of my largest uh, male sulcatas. So I've got three males, and usually what happens is uh, Lumpy and Brutus are together. They don't really fight. I tried introducing Hercules, but Hercules got beat up. Um, so I kind of keep him separate, and he lives out here, but it's fine. I think I need to get him a girlfriend, though. I don't know. All right, time for the elongated. Up oh, there's one right there. Hello, there's one elongated. We've actually got 22 elongateds in here. And the other cool thing, guys, is the elongated, I wonder if I can find them. I don't know if I can actually find them uh, in this video, but we have the elongated that was, um, had the injured neck, and I wanna show you guys how well, let's look. Let's see if I can find him, show you how well he's doing. Um, I don't know, it's a male, so I wonder if this, I don't know who this is. Hey, this is him. Can you believe it? This is him. Look at this. We're gonna flip him upside down and just have a look. Look at how much better he's done. See that? He's able to pull his head in more now. The scar tissue isn't so bad. Um, so I'm really happy with that. So that's pretty cool, huh? So there he is. And you can see just the old wounds have closed up. There's no more infection and he's doing well. So he could pull his head in a bit more and hopefully in a few more weeks, he'll be able to pull it all the way in. But if not, it's okay because he's here in captivity where he doesn't really need to pull his head all the way in. There's nothing that's gonna hurt him in this yard. We've got the electric all around, so that's good news. Okay, so the cherry heads. They're starting to wake up and come on out. Hello, come on out, say hello to everybody. I love these tortoises, uh, beautiful. Um, if you've been watching the videos a long, long time, you know that this tortoise had a prolapse uh, maybe about a year ago. Uh, we treated that prolapse and he's doing well. So very good. This tortoise came to me from Scotty Cramner. You might wanna check out his BMX channel, Scotty Cramner on YouTube. And then everyone else is starting to pour on out of here, which is neat. And we've got this little beauty right here. Don't know if this is gonna be a male or a female. Let's look. I'm not sure. I think it's gonna be a female, but when this animal, let's go, uh, let me show you how beautiful. Look at this. Look at everyone. Hey, they start chasing me, everybody. Let me show you how beautiful these tortoises are. Uh, we'll just do this. You can really see just the different colors um, on these guys. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful, beautiful tortoises. They have that marbling. So, you know, I don't mind. It's not like I want to turtle wax them all the time, but these guys are just a fantastic species. Uh, they are related to the red foot. They pretty much are red foots. They're called the cherry heads. Uh, there's the cage that Pinky and Marty are in, but let's see how the rhinos are doing. It's early, they're probably not up. Yeah, look, look at these sleepy, sleepy heads. They're just sleeping down there. So there are the rhinos, and uh, there's a couple of Greek tortoises in there as well. And they'll be waking up as the sun kind of pokes on out. Get them going. All right, wow. It's kind of a fun little tour. I guess you guys getting to see how animals wake up here at the camp. It's something that I think once you guys, uh, maybe some of you, when you get your own homes, if you don't already have them, if you don't keep animals outside, uh, maybe one day you will, and this will be a lot of fun for you guys. Oh, look, 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 look. How cool. Here's Colin. 
pollen my carpet python. He's a coastal carpet python. Whoop. And look at this. I love how he just pokes up. And what he'll do is he pokes out. And as the sun, which is coming up over there, as the sun comes up, he's going to heat up part of his body. Uh, snakes do bask. Uh, this snake does bask. It's very neat to see. Um, sometimes they come out onto the logs. Let's see. Where is the jungle carpet that's in here? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Where are you? I know you're somewhere in here. Nope, not down there. Wait a minute, he might be in, or she might be in. Yep, they're both in there. Oh, he opened his mouth. I'm sorry if I scared you. So both snakes are in this little hideout. I kind of made this hideout out of foam. Uh, it's been carved and kind of trying to make it look like some kind of log. That was a fun project. All right, so you know where we're going now, folks. Where do you think we're going now? Let's go see our main squeeze. Slinky. There he is, Slinky. Slinky, say hello to everybody. He's up early. This guy is a real go-getter, especially when food is a potential reward. There is the Slinkster. 100% lean, mean, Asian water monitor machine. Hold on, let's go down and... We love you, buddy. We love you. Oh, you're looking for some food, dude? No food yet. Come over here. Come over here. How great is this lizard, man? We love Slinky. And you see, I'm very gentle. and let him know he's not getting food. He's a very, very smart animal. And he knows when he's getting fed and when he's not. He allows me to pet him. And I'm just very slow. Because you see, he can be a little bit skittish sometimes. And you don't want to get a defensive bite from this guy. Uh, because that would be painful. Um, we don't want that to happen. And uh, in the five years I've had Slinky, not one bite. So I'm very happy about that. It's all about be building trust with your animal. And that's what we do. We build the trust. One more time, let's go underwater. Look at that body. All right, gotta love that guy. All right, Slink, I'm going to go in here and see who's doing what. Uh, and again, look at this. You got to also make sure that this place is dialed. So we got a cement bag there. I'm going to fill in more cement here. Um, there's actually chain link. There's actually chain link on the bottom of this enclosure that goes all the way around. But I just don't want Slinky to dig underneath the chain link. Who's this? Oh, hello. Hi there, good sir. Oh, gosh. Slinky, get over there, and you stay over there, and then you come over here. And uh, I've never had a problem with Slinky and the uh, Cuban iguanas, which is good. What's up, man? Saying hello to everybody. There's my girl Lola, looking uh, lovely. She's saying hello to you guys. Very good, very good. Nice to see everybody here up in Adam. Uh, the sun's going to come up and these animals are going to lay right across these rocks and warm up. Here's a little Chinese box turtle just overnighting here in this rock crevice. And uh, there's plenty of little hideouts for these guys. I like keeping them in here now because they're safe and secure. And uh, when they lay their eggs, their eggs will actually incubate in the ground. And uh, I'll collect the babies as I find them. So that's neat too. Uh, but you got to get the babies out fast because sometimes the adults will actually eat them. So I got to keep it, uh, got to keep my wits about me. And that's another reason that I come out early and I make sure all the animals are good. Hey, do you want to see some snakes? Of course you do. Here are the hog island boas. Look at this. She's coming out to get herself a little sunbathing going on. Very, very cool. That's my female. And uh, she's a pretty snake. Really, really love her. Let's get her going. Come on out, baby. There you go. Whoa. Oh, I, I thought that the male was waking up. Is the male over there, maybe? Is there a boy over there somewhere? No, no male there. Let's do this. There's the male. He's in there, isn't he? All right, so snakes are plenty here. Beautiful. Oh. Yo, gosh, not you again. No, come on, no, please. No, no, not you. Oh, God, whenever I come in here with my sandals, I get attacked. And this guy's just the worst. He's gotten Kate, he gets me. Oh, 
And what's silly is, or what's shocking is when you're messing with snakes and then you feel something bite you, it freaks you out. <laughs> totally freaks you out, man. I really should be wearing boots, but I am lazy and I didn't put them on. Okay, how about the uh, Timor pythons? This is a really, really intense uh, morning tour of the camp because we're seeing a lot of the animals. Let's see. There we go. And I love this camera because we can kind of get up close and personal and get all up in there. There they are. How about it? There's, come on, stop. We, every time, every time I'm with, every single time that I'm with a snake, you bite me and I freak out. Can you please stop biting me? You got fed last night. You're fat and happy. Why are my toes your number one go-to, huh? God, everybody, this guy is a lunatic. I keep the step stool in here so I can easily reach animals in the cage and stuff like that. And I change the water bowl. Uh, it drips out of that right into there and they make it muddy and stuff, but it clears itself out when the water comes on. So don't worry, but I just put a simple water bowl in here now. It's just easier for me to handle. But back to these guys, here are the two. You can see the two Timor Python heads. There's one head there, and then there's another head right there. And they're just kind of hanging out inside this little log. And I'm gonna go and shut it up. They'll probably come out here later. So we'll just rotate it like that. And that's a cool little hide for them. The water, it drips down, overflows, nice clean water for them every morning, uh, every afternoon, it comes on twice a day. So the water gets really nice and clean and overflows. And then I rinse out that thing every couple of days. All right, let's keep moving. All right, kids, see you later. Oh, wait a second. We haven't uh, seen everybody in here, have we? Let's go. Fed them some collards last night. They ate some of that. There is Solomon. There's his girlfriend. The both of them doing well. You're gonna. Oh boy, yeah. Okay, she's an attacker. Uh, and then, whoa, hey, Solly, what are you doing? Come on out. Come say hello to everybody. Come on. These guys are funny. Hey, Solomon. Of course, these are the monkey tail skinks, and they're really beautiful. Okay, moving along. This is a long video, but we're almost done now. Uh, yeah. See you later. Uh, all right, Slinky Man, you guys can look at him while I shut this. Uh-huh. We'll see you later, buddy. So everyone's looking good. I love that. Again, this is just the morning ritual. Every day, I have to make sure my critters are good. And then, of course, I actually um, will be feeding. Usually, I feed in the afternoons. I like it when the animals have warmed up, and I feed them in the afternoon. Uh, again, here's... Uh, some cherry heads back in here. My buddy's cherry heads that I'm taking care of. They see there's their water bowl, just a nice little area. We've got the cherries. We also have his elongated tortoise in here. So it's basically uh, just an enclosure I keep open for just some guests of the camp. And these guys are my guests. Uh, they'll be going home soon. He was actually, he's a good friend of mine, and he actually was building a new house and he needed some space. Uh, he needed me to kind of watch his tortoises for him. So I'm doing that. Okay, so over here, uh, some baby, uh, baby grandis. All right, there we go. Little baby grandis right there. We got a couple of those, a few of them hanging out. So they're just chilling right here. Of course, we got baby sulcatas, some little babies. They were eating up their, their little collard greens. So we got some baby sulcatas in here. All right. We also have the blue iguanas. There's one back in there. And Leon is somewhere to be found. I don't know. He's probably hiding out into this hole, but Leon is a cool lizard but he's not showing himself. This area is empty now. We're gonna be doing a lot of work to that in the future. Um, Takes some time to get things ready, get the machines organized, stuff like that. We've got the snow leopards are over here. Here's one of them. There's Willy Wonky. Hey, Willy Wonky. And then one of the big gals. And then of course the rest of them are all floating around out there. And then here are my leopards. And look at where they lay. They lay in this area because the sun comes up over the warehouse and it's the first thing that gets hit are these tortoises and it really warms them up and gets them going for the day. Okay, 
Well, we're almost done. I think you guys have seen almost every single tortoise uh, and reptile that I have here at the camp. I'm pretty sure you guys have. We haven't gone in the snake room. All right. But we do have, of course, the waterfall. Plants are growing up nicely. Very happy about that. Everything's really growing well here. Oh, uh, this lunatic. I don't know if he's out yet, but we got this Lewis Eye Iguana in this cage. And we've got the new Asian Turtle Pond, which is going to be the Gator Pond. And of course, I'll show you guys. Here is the pond. It's doing well. Lots of fish in the pond. Lots of fish out here. And you know what's cool about these fish, guys? I'll show you. Um, they're so acclimated to me that they they swim over to me just to see what's going on. What do you say we finish this video up with uh, some feeding of these turtles? <laughs> Excuse me. They're not turtles. They're fish. Uh, I got turtles on the brain. Let's feed these fish and um, I'll sign off right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this early morning tour at Camp Ken and a little bonus video showing you what's going on, what's new, what's happening, what I have to do to keep these animals going. Uh, thanks for supporting the channel. Please like and subscribe and hit the notifications button. And if you really want to help support us, go to patreon.com slash Camp where you guys can get extra content, interact with me in different ways, and uh, well, overall, just support the channel. Thanks, everybody. You're going submersible. I'm feeding some fish. These are some African cichlids. Enjoy. Here we go.